Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Under Wraps Autograph Baseball 6 Box Half Case Random Team Break Number 5. No Strohs in this, but even without the Astros, big loaded checklist here, so, and giving away a couple spots here as well. Let's do it. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Everyone from Eugene through Matt and everyone in between, appreciate everybody getting in. Two of you are going to get extra spots. It's our first of two dice rolls. Uh, after 12. Top two after 12. Six and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so top two. Listen, everyone else, don't worry. You're still on the break. But the top two get extra spots. Matt has an extra spot and Brandon with an extra spot. These are baseballs, Rex. These aren't, these aren't, these aren't that big. I don't know if you've ever seen a baseball before. All right, so let's put all the names here. And now, take out the Astros. So we'll, we should have 29 items on each list. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a five. Nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Got Rangers down to Dodgers. All right, Eric, you got the Texas Rangers, Cassandra with the Twins, Steve with the Rockies, Adam with the Cardinals, Matt with the Blue Jays, Brandon with the Mariners, Eric, Cubs, Giants, Orioles. Allen with the A's, Matt with the Pirates and Phillies, Eric with the Angels, Matt with the Brewers, Eric with the Tigers, Brandon with the Braves, Eugene, Mets, Padres, Matt, Last Pod Mojo, Reds. Eric with the Diamondbacks and Nationals, Matt with the Yankees, Eugene with the Rays, Matt with the Red Sox, Kyle with the Royals, Cassandra with the White Sox, Matt with the Guardians, Eric Clicks with the Miami Marlins and Eugene. You got the LA Dodgers, the world champs. So let's sort by team. And we will pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break, stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done, which is okay. Here in random team number five, first half of a fresh case. Second half loaded up if you want to run this back. Pop this open here, there's a checklist here. Pretty good checklist too. Let's just take just take the top six boxes out here. Two, four, and six. And we'll save the rest for next time. You can definitely do tonight if you want to. All right, are we playing Who Am I? Let's see if there's any takers on it. Oh, only pay for what you need. Every day, 
All right, who am I? I had a lifetime 199 batting average, 35 hits in my career, seven runs batted in, played for three teams my entire career. Who am I? One ninety nine batting average, thirty five hits, seven runs batted in. Played for three teams my entire career and a three time World Series champion. Bat right, through right, was an infielder. No, not Terry Francona, Danver. You're on the right track. You are on the right track. And a Hall of Famer. I also uh, was a four-time manager of the year. I have 2,884 wins for a 5.36 winning percentage. Inducted uh, by the Expansionary Committee in 2014. Manager of the Year in 83, 88, 92, and 2002. So, a few different eras there. Uh, I also have a, a, a legal issues section in my Wikipedia. Uh, a couple DUIs, I think. How old is he? He's 80 years old now. No, no other guesses, huh? It is... There you go. Hall of Famer Tony La Russa. And on the checklist, White Sox. So that's going to go to Cassandra. Yeah, Tony La Russa, four-time manager of the year. Almost 3,000 wins. A few World Series under his belt. So Cassandra has the White, the White Sox on the checklist. All right, next one. I think, Dan, you might be, your video might be lagging behind just a little bit. Everyone kind of double check to make sure you're watching live. Dan just said Ron Wash. No, he's on the right track, though. All right. Next player, retired player. This player will have better stats than Tony La Russa. Um, 52 years old, third baseman, switch hitter, played for one team my entire career, eight-time All-Star, World Series champion, NL MVP, two-time Silver Slugger, ML, Major League Baseball batting champion, First ballot Hall of Famer, 97.2% of the vote. Hit lifetime 303, uh, 2,726 hits, 468 home runs, 1,600 runs batted in. Bang. There you go. Dan's got that one right away. It's Chipper Jones, chip off the old block. Switch hitting third baseman Hall of Famers recently. 
And that's why our family will only drive a Subaru. Subaru. More IIHS. There you go. Trooper Jones. And you got all the... You'll have the hologram sticker there, too. The MLB and the Fanatics hologram sticker. There's a little card in there that I'll say Tripper Jones as well. That's going to go to Brandon, Steed, and the Braves. That's with the spot that Brandon won, that extra spot. Nice. Should have had written written that down before, but there you go, Brandon. All right, next box. I feel like there's not not too many players that are gonna be. I think that's gonna be something something special as the, as time goes on. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of players that are gonna be on one team their entire career. All right, we got an active player, an active pitcher, lefty, 30 years old. Um, born in Santa Monica, California. 73 wins, 36 losses, a 307 ERA, 863 strikeouts. Two time All Star, World Series champion, all MLB first team, three time gold glover, a silver slugger. Played for one team my entire career. Yeah, we had Tony La Russa and Chipper Jones, and this is our third baseball. Active pitcher. And a free agent. Any guesses? Nice. Brandon's got it. It's Max Free for Brandon. And the Braves. Two in a row. There are the hologram stickers. And you got a, you got an inscription on this one too. That's cool. Braves said they they would not get in a bidding war for Max Free, but I think they'll make I mean they'll make him an offer. Nice. Yeah, Braves got two of the three baseballs here. All right. Three more to go. Future Red Sox, maybe. Adam's hoping. Yeah, I think there would be a lot of a lot of teams vying for his services. I think he's had. How did he do this season? I feel like there's some injury issues here and there, but eleven and ten. 29 starts, 174 innings. All right, we got a retired player here. A retired outfielder, DH, bat left. Throw, uh, throws right. Played for uh, one, two, three, four teams in my Major League Baseball career. Hit lifetime 282, 175 home runs, 760 runs batted in. A nine, a two-time All-Star, a World Series champion, and a World Series MVP.
And uh, he started his career, though, in Japan. He's Japanese-born. Nine-time All-Star in Japan. Three-time Japan Series champion, Jap Japan Series MVP in the Japanese Hall of Fame. Hit 304, 332 home runs, 889 runs batted in Japan. Ooh, this is cool. It's Hideki Matsui. There you go, Eugene. And it's on a 2009 World Series baseball. That's where he won the MVP. That's awesome. And that'll be Matt Lieber and the Yankees. It's an official World Series baseball. Wish he po popped in like an MVP inscription on there. Maybe there are baseballs in there with the MVP inscription. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that can pop out of this, ladies and gentlemen. Second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, we have another retired player. Ooh, nice. Trout MVP ball. All right, I'm a retired Venezuelan baseball player. Bat right, throws right. <laughs> These numbers are crazy. Lifetime 306 batting average. I think he played for like 20 years. Lifetime 306. 3,174 hits. 511 home runs. 1,881 runs batted in. Played for two teams my entire career. A 12-time All-Star. 12-time All-Star. A World Series champion. Two-time AL MVP seven-time Silver Slugger Award winner, a four-time AL batting champion, a two-time AL home run leader, a two-time AL RBI leader. Oh, and I won a triple crown. I thought this would be obvious, no? There we go, Eugene's got it. Yeah, Miguel Cabrera. Uh, I think it goes this way, there we go. Miguel Cabrera, nice. Now, obviously, he's going to be first ballot Hall of Famer. No doubt. Might get close to unanimous votes, I would think. All right, and on the checklist, Tigers edition. Started his career with the Marlins. Eric Clicks with Detroit. All right, final baseball. Good luck, everybody. Second half in the store. TNT is presented by the Progressive Keys to Progress program, providing cars to veterans in need. All right, we got you home in all the bundle, and you saved hundreds. Huh. 
That's nice with the economy and all. What's the economy? And where do we start? What isn't the economy? All right, we've got a active baseball player, 34 years old, from Midland, Texas. Throws right but bats left. Has a lifetime 228 batting average, 679 hits, 195 home runs, 537 runs batted in. Uh, played for two teams my entire career. Mostly an infielder. Is a two-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion. The team that drafted me way back when, right, drafted another player with the same name, like, what, a decade later? And is a, is a current World Series champion. He's on the Dodgers. So this is going to go to Eugene. What? I think he was a little quiet in the World Series, but I think in the NLCS against the Mets, he had a streak going. In 12 at-bats, he either had a walk or a hit. For 12 at bats in a row, we had some crazy on base, some crazy on base streak. Yeah, that was Max Muncy. Brandon's got it. No, I think he was kind of quiet in the World Series. Yeah, he did. He was he had a terrible World Series. He went 0 for 16, three walks, 10 strikeouts. Not good, but a lot better in the NLCS. Five for 15. Couple homers, four RBIs, a couple stolen bases, 11 walks. Jeez. That's right. Max Max helped my Dodgers beat the Mets, get to the World Series. So others in the World Series picked him up. Ooh, on a 2020 World Series baseball. Nice. So there you go, Eugene. With the Dodgers, Max Muncy. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those were the autographed baseballs. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second half is in the store, so go and check that out. And I'll see you next time for that one. Bye-bye.